Hey my friends, I've come back to the Lord Ted in Farndon, Nottinghamshire today, a Green King pub. I had a full English breakfast here last year, which was really good. And I sat in one of these pods that you can sit in down the side here. So I'm gonna select a pod and see what else they've got. So I'm going to sit here, number 111. I'll just go and grab a menu. So here's that menu. We do have some mix and match, three for 12, five for 18 pounds 50. Small plate starters, there's your selection. Sides, open it up to reveal so there's the pub classics. So if you fancy large fish and chips, $12.49, $9.99 for regular. There's a chicken tikka masala, nice. The chicken selection. Lighter bites. Then we have the steaks and grills and burgers. I think what I'll try today is the bacon and cheese burger, £9.29. Classic beef burger topped with smoked streaky bacon and melted cheese. And on the back it tells you the carvery prices and a list of desserts. All right, so that's the burger ordered. I got myself a pint of tap water for zero pence, just waiting for the food. So here it is, my friends, it's just arrived. So we have these portion of chips that come with the burger. We've got some onion rings at the back. Burger itself, flowery bap. Remove that, it's been slightly toasted. We have some lettuce and tomato, some plastic cheese. Then underneath all that, we have the smoky bacon. And it's looking nice and crispy from here. Underneath the bacon, we have what looks to be a nice juicy burger. Oh yes, look at the juices coming out of that thing. I'm just gonna open it up quickly, see what it's like inside, back in a second. So that's what the inside of the burger looks like. Looks okay to me. I would say that the cheese slice could be a bit more melted. So perhaps put that thing on the burger when the actual burger's cooking, or when it, at least when it's a bit hotter. Put these tomatoes back, these look nice and fresh as do the lettuce leaves. Looks like the same lettuce that I grow, which is a nice thing. Let's pop a bit of ketchup on that bun. Lovely. Okay, I'm gonna try on these chips first. Nice things, not oily at all, warm. And I do like those black speckles. They always add to the flavor. They do need a touch of salt for my liking. Time to try an onion ring. Nice thing, soft onion in the middle, crispy batter. Now I removed a piece of that smoky bacon from the burger to see what that's like on its own. It's absolutely lovely, really nice smoky flavor, and really nicely cooked as well. No sloppy bits, no slimy bits. Crispy, as promised. Okay, it's time to try the burger next. I think I'll cut that mammoth in half first. So there's the cross section. It's looking nice from here. Well, here we go. Oh, it's a delicious first bite, I gotta say. You can definitely taste beef. You can taste the sauce mixed in with that cheese. You can even pick up on the tomato. Nice. What I like to do as well is open that thing and get an onion ring on there as well. And here's some of that red onion. So double onion action right in there. Okay, let's give that a bit a go. Oh, that is delicious like that. Now I remember why I put onion rings on my burgers. That sweet onion with a little bit more crisp, adding flavor and texture to this lovely burger. Incidentally, I'm just going to grab a tiny bit of that burger on its own. The burger on its own is nice. 
it is tender, it is juicy. It's not the best or most quality burger I've ever tasted, but it's good enough, especially for the price these days. That was some nice burger and chips from Lord Ted, the Green King pub, Farnham, Nottinghamshire. I've had better, normally for more money though. I've had far, far worse. I'll give their burger and chips eight out of 10. So that's fine. Hmm. Well, that's me well and truly stuffed. Time to crack on to do some piano lessons now, but I'm sure I'll return to the Lord Ted in the future and try out something else off their menu. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here.